Sebring International Raceway, the birthplace of American endurance racing. And we have got a legend here, Mario Andretti. That's the only way to go to a racetrack, right? The Mobile One 12 hours of Sebring it doubles as the season finale for the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. An IMSA season unlike anything that we've ever seen. I Today marks the final full-time drive for Oliver Gavin with Corvette Racing. 51 wins on the same team, the same brand, the same mark, never before, never again. It's a problem, problem for the number seven. This has championship implications here. Intercooler issue on the Acura Team Penske machine. They go to the garage and lose 11 laps with that change. The four car, Ollie Gavin, leaking some fluid down the back straightaway. Townsend Bell leading the class goes for a ride. Two cars, fun, turn seven, offline, all clear and all clear. Oh, geez, that's, is that the Zap Minolta car? It is the Conning of Minolta car. Yeah, late move there down to the inside. So the two championship leaders, both with problems. That sent the number 10 car to the garage, had to change out the radiator. Then. Hashtag respect the bumps. 12 hour racing is demanding on the cars and the drivers as well. My back hurts pretty bad, but I'm not here to drive. I just, I just have to go like 100%. To keep your back warm and your body fluid, if I get you out, you pull off. I'm worried that it'll lock up. Then a little bit of argy bargy here with the GTD leader. Mario Farnbacher gets turned around by the Turner Motorsports number 96. The beginning of what is going to be an elongated nine-time slog in comparison to Sebring as usual. More drama down at Sunset Bend. It's the number four car, it's Holly Gavin. Oh, car yellow, turn 17. Yeah, left rear broke on corner entry there. Fortunate to actually get away with not big contact. 912 running up the back of the three and doing damage to the right front wing. Contact would rip the right front off the car, have to pin a couple of times to fix it. Yeah, the elbows have certainly been out in GT Le Mans. It's been fantastic to watch. Here we get this. This is out of control. And the 31 has turned to six. Alley lock car, 31. Consider responsibility with the six. This is one of these things that's been brewing for a little while. More importantly, he also got damage to the right front corner. Couldn't get the car to turn. Lost a couple of laps getting the fix in pit lane. And this GTD scrap has been phenomenal. There's a championship on the line for that 86 Maya Shank Acura NSX. He's oh, oh, the seven. Whoa. Whoa. That's the leader. Ah, it's, a, it's a left rear puncture. Up the 55 of Harry Ticknell says, all right, I'm ready to take over the lead of this motor race. Mazda Motorsport wins the Mobile 112 hours of Sebring. Oh, yeah. Good job, Harry. What a win. LMP2. I want Matheson Motorsport taking the victory here. For Porsche in GT Le Mans. They're going to go 1 2, and Nick Tandy's going to win three in a row. And the 16 in GTD of Pat Long, Ryan Hardwick, and Jan Halen, they win the race. Dignal celebrating. Big endurance win for the Mazda Motorsports program. What a swan song for Porsche. Burn it down, and the cars are done. They can burn them down all they want. Congratulations to our winners and champions. The DPI, Ricky Taylor, Elio Castro Neves gets that elusive professional driving championship. Patrick Kelly wrapped up his Le Mans Prototype 2 championship. We congratulate him and PR1 Matheson. The GT Le Mans category, Antonio Garcia, along with Jordan Taylor, GTD, Maya Shank do it, Mario Farnbach and Matt McMurray. What a season. What a way to finish 2020.